Yeah, we are live. Hello there. Good to see you. How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 3. Indeed, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 3 of the Erlucan and How to Become a Composer. Episode 3. Yes, we're going forward with this concept over here. Indeed, that's what we are doing. That's what we are doing here today. Hopefully you have been enjoying your day here because we're going to be today start studying how to share your music around with my composer experience of how to do that. You know, in last episodes uh, we went into how to become one, you know, what should you do and now we're actually starting to share your music around indeed. We're going to be talking about options like uh, putting this music of yours to internet or sharing it to radios or other places. So take out your notebooks, let's start the quest. Let us see wherever this shall take us forth indeed. And I want to have to say at first, yes, I need to get a haircut. People have been saying to me, Elias, why is your beard and hair looking very weird? And I tell you, I've been not been able to get to a hair salon in a few moments because yes, because of the current situation. Yes, and I know I I look terrible, so I need to do that. But uh, in meantime, I'm going to be teaching you with my uh, music skills on what you should do when uh, sharing your music around. This Jimmy episode is very vital when it comes to getting stuff forward. Indeed. So hey, Mojo, hey, Senpai. <laughs> Let's not call hey, me senpai. senpai just yet. Hello there. Uh, I can see your big neck beard. Hello yes, there. neck beard. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not really proud of it. I need to get rid of I it, man. I can see beard neck lol. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've not been able to go hair salon in a moment. But you, today we're going to be actually talking about Mohi how to Juju. become a composer. And you know, composing you is a, a thing you can anyone can here 15. do. I've actually showed it in a few episodes already. You know, you can actually start right now doing the stuff and getting things done indeed with the start of things we actually talked about in fewer episodes in just before and you can get haircut on the uh, here since 15 yeah i suppose i will uh, i will very much soon get that so don't you worry about that but i want to tell you what you should worry about how to sh get your stuff shared around on the online spaces so last episode we talked about how to become a composer i went two, I months, went two months without, without a cut, a cut and, and i was e really, mad. really mad yes i'm i tell you I, I, I'm, I'm being like, uh, people have been saying to me, it's just like, wink, wink, get a haircut. I'm just like, please, Oli god damn, dude. I live in the countryside. Hey, hey hello, the Oli Repair dude, Moju and Jelly Duck. Yes, indeed. So today you have stumbled upon a stream of how to become a composer, a series of Air Luke and videos where we talk about how to become one. And today we're going to be talking about options of how to I actually start composing like and getting it beard. out there. I was talking, uh, starting to look like a Taliban. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to look like Taliban with this goddamn, I don't want to even show it to you too much but I I tell you yeah today we're going to be very much looking into that uh, do you people use yourself these services if so uh, you might not be using them in a way that you know these services want you to use them because I, what I've noticed in my career that when you share in places like radio uh, internet and such you need to do it in a certain way because if you do not uh, then you are not getting anywhere I've actually worked with previously with my clients to actually get their stuff shared around in the online space uh, no, because the thing is if you don't do it Yours right then you are not small. getting things that's on what there. she said it's kind of small that's the kind of the uh, that's what she said at least what are you what are you talking about Anyways, the uh, thing is, we are going to be looking at here how to become a composer here, and let's get started. So, intro on the way. Today's topic is, of course, how to share your music around. Indeed, that's what we're going to be learning here with Emoji and others. If any questions while we are watching, please let me know, because, of course, that is something very much in this direct live stream a streaming session. If you say something, we can, of course, answer to it. Lovely intro, thank you, Jelly Duck. Uh, today is, we have a 2% two, two of done, of course, it's episode 3, how to become a composer, let get started indeed and the idea is I'm going to be actually putting here on the screen the uh, why ways to really get stuff going yes thank yes. you very much Moji we're going to be uh, getting uh, you know talking about some social medias we're talking about you know internet sites uh, 
and what is your focus going to be? Because in the last episode we talked about Gardener Bird and his great uh, journey to become a composer. You know, he composed in an uh, example character, which we talked about, composed some uh, gaming music and he wants to get that music out there. So of course you can in uh, insert any type of music you have, any ideas of the music you have on this, on this person. But we're going to be looking at his journey to places like... Uh, uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, uh, Facebook, of course, radio channels as well, as well as uh, being shared on uh, other YouTube channels made by others Most as well, YouTube. because that is also a possibility and very good one at I that. Wanted to ask I wanted to you ask what you what recording equipment and program do you, do you use? use? I use very simple ones, especially here in the countryside. I have... Uh, uh, Blue Yeti microphone on here as a microphone, very simple one. Uh, if you talk about music recording, I use for Sibelius 7.5 and other uh, virtual instruments connected to that. Yes, indeed, very useful programs when it comes to notation, but also for composing in general. We last episode we talked about a different sort of composing programs. You uh, might want to check that out if you want to see more on what sort of options you have on your hands. Uh, now we're going to be actually a, st a bit sharing on one thing I want to share on here which is a very good uh, if you want to distribute because this episode is about distributing your music I recommend you to check out Roadnode and what is Roadnode well Roadnode is the service I personally use you can get your stuff on these all places and much more you know um, quite easily you, you can actually just put the music in there and it shares that route. Of course, you need to still uh, do some practices we are going to be looking at in this very episode, like, you know, sharing it on social media. But this is a way to actually get kind of a baseline on uh, getting actually paid from your music indeed. Because in YouTube land, I tell you, uh, you are not going to get paid at all in the beginning. But in these places, you can actually get paid right away from your music. And that's, of course, what you want to do in your music career indeed. You know, getting paid and start getting your stuff out there. So I just posted a link in the description. Of course, you can see the referral link as well as in here in the upper corner. You know, I, I personally, you know, have a referral link, but I do trust in this service quite a lot. I use it personally, yes, indeed, personally when doing projects myself. So I do recommend taking a look of it. You can actually get your music distributed for free. No up payment at all. You can actually get it for free out there. So check it out. Road note and referral link, of course, helps the channel out tremendously. So I thank you very much on that. Now, what we're going to be actually looking at first is, of course, you know, people might be in very different positions when they start doing this sort of stuff what we are doing over here indeed I've been doing this for myself for many many years and I have no idea on how, where to actually begin when I started you know that is the kind of a thing that uh, the people have you know where to start where to really go forward and I tell you it is a hard task we're trying to actually uh, get this idea of why and where and how on this very episode so bear with me but I'm going to be saying to you that it is possible to get a much quicker uh, kind of results on what you want to do the very first thing as we talked in the last episode we actually put it on the screen as well is very much because we're actually going to be uh, replacing this window over here with uh, an empty page so we can actually add some text in here indeed so the thing is the very big uh, rule when sharing your music around and wanting to be heard by others with, with your music is like with anything here like you have to give somebody something it's like a trade you are currently making something let's say art you want to make people you know have some kind of emotion you want to have them you know enjoy the music or you know some other else you know it depends of the music of course but always you no, have you, you, to you. offer some thing indeed let me actually put here here on. people sing on the streets of big cities sing. that is not the most ideal but is a start and sometimes gather a crowd yeah actually I, well, let's talk about that as well mojo Joe. that is a very actually good way uh, as well because you know online has its limitation but always you have to think about this you, uh, your music has to serve some kind of purpose, and I'm, of course, like I personally, when I started making music, I was just thought, I think, I, I thought that, hey, I just make music, people listening it, and that's about that. But no, 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 it's a uh, much, you know, not much far. But you know, imagine this. When you listen yourself some music, what do you want to have? Perhaps, you know, relaxation, you want to hear some relaxing music in the background while you study, or you want to have some kind of beautiful emotion on journey or something. Your music has to serve something. And I recommend when actually starting to share your music around, having some sort of idea of what that music is going to be. Uh, one of the ideas I personally talked in the last streams is about perhaps uh, uh, giving it a purpose of like, let's say, uh, your music, like a D&D &D music, you know, people 
uh, used his music in D the D and D sessions, and believe me, there's quite actually a lot of people that want to have their background music played in these D and D matches, and uh, there are many people actually looking for these sort of opportunities. So I recommend to have some kind of purpose. It might be you know background music for videos. You make you know you have the, your music in videos for people to listen to, or you possibly have it in video games of or the project. We talked about that in last episode. You actually have to check that out to learn more of that. But uh, yes, there are many ways. Or like Mojo said about you know in cities, just making people happy about the music. And uh, usually, usually that is you have to have something of your idea because if you don't, it, you're going to be very much just kind of in the dark and trying to find the way, which is going to be very hard times for you because I tell you, it's a uh, uh, you know for me when I started just putting music out there. Uh, I had no idea. I, I growed very slowly, and it was very pain to actually start this whole thing. And once, once I actually understood what my thing was, which is of course uh, making music out of mainstream, I tried to uh, make it so that you know my music is of course downloadable and such for people for people's projects. And I of course work for projects. That's kind of my niche where I took on. And you have to try to find this sort of thing for yourself as well, very much. So I recommend to do that. So Bert has found his purpose. Let me actually put it on the screen. Bird the gardener, the main hero of this journey. Gardener. Have you yourself actually used any of these services we're going to be looking at? We shall see. I'm going to be now putting them on the screen now. So Bird no, the gardener was thinking these options I believe first. music from movies YouTube, gathers more than in video games. Like Venom from Emium or Hedens from I believe music for movies gathers more than video games. I tell you. But, you know, it depends, of course. I, you know, looking at some Mario, uh, like Nintendo music and such, actually gets a pretty huge audience. They have made them, uh, their brand just about, you know, uh, having happy times with family and such and such and such you can if you get in that sort of aspect which ha people can have actually I tell you um, it's actually pretty nice I personally have been in game projects and because of those game projects my music has been going like woo sort of like sort of way so well I'm gonna be looking at first options he's going to be looking at internet options indeed Internet and internet options are actually very good because you can start on them right away without huge of an issue indeed Because the thing is uh, many of these services, you know are free You can just sign up for free and put your music out there But it's not guaranteed your music is going to be listened if you uh, play your music in a kind of a street corner Which I personally actually done myself for some of the music I've done you know you have uh, actually a bigger chance to get heard in, in a sense and that is also one thing we're actually going to be talking about very soon. But I tell you, uh, the, the thing is very much this, my friends. If you uh, if you get your music out there on these internet platforms, it's going to be a huge competition. There's going to be a lot of people trying to be the master, trying to be the biggest one there ever is, sort of fashion. And it's not going to be guaranteed sort of journey for you to get uh, along on this path, I tell you. Uh, but uh, if you do things right way, you can actually get the stuff on them. So we're going to be actually talking about details of uh, what we shall do and such very soon. So this series is very much on kind of a big, uh, series for series for beginner uh, beginner composers. But of course, this information. Uh, can be useful for people that afterwards even are doing this because I see so many channels I tell you so many different channels than, and places that are not doing this on our good side And I cannot say I'm doing all the best practices even myself because you know uh, it, it is uh, you know depending on the platform you have to have you know you have of course limited time But I tell you now we're going to be talking about a place called YouTube and currently I'm doing this sort of stream in land of YouTube and the thing is YouTube, YouTube, YouTube is very visual content. You know, as you can see, I have live streams. I live stream every single day. I have these videos coming almost every single day. That's the thing. I'm like, a, you know, like a train trying to just to kind of rush forward. And it actually has been positive for me because, you know, when you have more uh, stuff, of course, uh, you are able to get the old people to see you much often. You know, unlike if you get one week of music, of course, that is a possibility. Uh, you know, it's, of course, uh, you know, less stuff and then it's to take some more time but of course there are upsides and good signs on getting some YouTube stuff done so we are going to actually look at these these actually uh, things are might be useful even for the people that are not doing music stuff so we shall see let's actually get this text out of the way and see what are the good signs and bad signs when it comes to you 
cube, indeed, we shall go with that. Uh, so, we're going to be talking about how to YouTube stuff. And, you know, you might have used YouTube yourself in your life, possibly, possibly not. You might actually watch this YouTube video right now. And what's so important about it? Well, I tell you. Uh, YouTube is this sort of platform that automatically promotes your stuff if you do their rules right way. As you can see, you know, I get some... I get some, you know, some kind of political stuff, yeah, but still, you know, you get a lot of different sort of uh, things on yourself depending on what you watch and what others on your computer watch. So personally, like this is the YouTube channel I'm currently working right now. It's not perfect in any means. I actually have to work on this even more to get this right. But as you can see, uh, we have some visual stuff on here. We have, of course, uh, you know, I've, I've worked on this some time. And uh, basically, when you start your YouTube, it's going to look very empty indeed. Very empty indeed. It's going to be a very much... Uh, uh, you have to actually put a lot of effort to make it look good, make it something that people want to come back to. I'm not yet even able to achieve myself fully, but we shall actually go and open a channel ourselves and seeing how we actually, uh, we could actually, you know, from zero start this whole thing indeed. What are the good sides of YouTube? Let me actually put on this list on here. What are the good sides of this place we are actually at? Uh, some of the good sides is that, of course, if you do right, if you do right, uh, you get uh, promoted by the algorithm, indeed. And the thing is, this is actually a very true thing. Uh, I personally have been promoted by algorithm by doing this sort of content, seeing people I would have never seen before, like Emoju and others, on this sort of world, indeed. That's what have happened, and I th it's, it's a very big plus, at least, on my side of things, because I tell you, when you... When you get uh, stuff done on here, it's actually, it's kind of like, uh, you know, big machine, just like helping you out, like, boom, 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 like, more, like that sort of fashion. And it has been going for me. What is sad is a lot of people nowadays, like Tekashi 69 Lil Pump and singers from Abbey don't have voice, but they abuse autotune. I hate how autotune replaces a real skill, I tell you, and that's the thing. Autotune is something that is, you know, we have actually, I've, uh, many years ago I made this episode about autotune and what's kind of the bad sides of it, and I tell you, that's the thing, but possibly if you have, hey, Flash Fitness, hello there from the D-Live side of things, welcome to the stream. So the thing is about that, if you want to actually do, do some stuff that you think people would like to uh, have, like, let's say, do music without autotune, like singing, you can actually do that. That is a thing. I personally have done experiments uh, you know, a little on people the, uh, uh, like singing Tikashi, 69. Pump yeah, that's the thing, you know, you can actually, you know, if you want to start your own music sharing, you know, you can just even that sort of inspiration, you know, there's no out, there's too many out of people, skill. and you can start from that, that is actually a very good starting point indeed on this sort of journey, but now, that is the plus side of one in here, Flash what fitness. are the others? Hi. Uh, what are the other sides? Well, Flash fitness. can you help me for school? Can uh, you help me for uh, school? Depends if you are, it's a composing thing, I suppose I can, let me know. Thing is, uh, we have here a YouTube side of things. And the uh, thing is, the b one, one big positive side as well is, of course, you talk about reach, but you can have uh, a, like an interaction, Flash interaction, fitness. like a I very big interaction. I need to make a dream house text. What is dream house text? I don't know. Personally, I'm not going to help in school uh, things in too much, of course, if it's not connected to music. But I tell you, interaction, getting to really to like people to watch you, you can actually have like stats and such to see how many people are going to see your stuff. Like, imagine being in YouTube. I can personally see how many people watch my stuff. I can actually show... I think I actually sh can show some of my own stuff, you know, what kind of what kind of stats I do have on this channel. Let me actually look at that. Uh, so, yeah, you can actually get stats to see how many people hours they watch of your stuff, you know, where do they start from your stuff. Very, very good. I think it's a very good stuff because then you can kind of understand what sort of people like your music because in the beginning you cannot really understand it too much. Uh, the minus signs of this whole place, let me just put it right there because there are a lot of work. You need to actually have a lot of like editing skills, all of this stuff, which I personally do not obtain too much. Uh, to really get this done uh, done into YouTube side of things. It takes time, a lot of work, that's our minus side, definitely. Also, you know, if you don't do that, if Mo you Hugh don't Juju. do something It's a little disturbing how few are watching are now, too. And I am the only one keeping this chat alive. Interested 
It's a little disturbing how few watching now. I'm only one keeping the chat alive. Oh, well, the thing is, I tell you, it's kind of, you know, numbers always are numbers game. But, you know, we are just starting this stream very much. And it is a composing topic. Not everyone is a composer person themselves. So don't you worry about that. Uh, one of the things, of course, I'm trying to share this also for composing people on or some groups I know to see what they like on that. We are very much going to see the sort of rapid fire style. So I can understand why they have this sort of feeling that. But yes, the thing is, YouTube, if you start sharing your music, if people are not already interested, if you don't do something that people are already interested in, it's going to be hard. And why do I say this? Well, let me tell you, my friends. I personally, as you have noticed, I started with remakes and putting stuff already people knew and actually remaking it. Of course, as one of the passions I personally have, of course, remaking and making stuff as a remastered music. But the problem is that, you know, not all have that, uh, not all can do it, not all want to do it, and then you're going to be having a harder time. Many musicians online in the YouTube scape of things, they actually very much main, main time, they just do music of uh, old music and remaster it. And actually, that's a very good way to get noticed. YouTube is not very much a place to really do something new and get noticed by that. You know, of course, uh, you know, very much some music videos you can see on my can actually improve that, but also, you you know, if you do it on all videos, you can see it yourself even very much so. Well, if you have any questions on the YouTube side of things, let me know. But that are the, like the big minus signs and plus signs of it. It is very good if you get on the good side of algorithm, which I actually, if you uh, like to like this video and share it around, it actually gets on the good signs and good graces of the algorithm. So I very much uh, appreciate if you want to do that. But uh, of course, it's not guaranteed. It's not easy. It's not uh, easy to start this whole thing and making it going forward. Not at all. But of course, if you um, we're going to be actually looking at some details how to do some stuff with this. So let's go um, out of my own channel. Here we go. Let's go out of my own very channel a little bit. But yeah, look, you are currently watching the channel I have on the, on the side on this. Let me just open, open a few things here. And yeah, the thing is though, thing is though, let me see, let me see. So let me, I've, I've made this sort of a simple channel, uh, actually an X symbol channel on here. Let me actually open it on the screen. Try to find Move it you to YouTuber does something YouTuber educational. Does something educational. Oh, well, that is a quite surprising thing if it does that, but you know, it always doesn't do it. That's the thing. Now, let me open a kind of example channel I have had in here. It has no subscribers, not so ever. I've been actually thinking of. So you have, so you death. have chosen death. Oh, yes, that's possibly that. So let me open this example channel I have on the screen right now. Yeah, here we go. This is a remake heaven channel. And it's, you know, you, I, I had this idea uh, like six months ago to make a channel for the remakes. I'm never going to do that, I suppose, because I want to keep things on the one place. But as you can see, here is kind of a, one of the simple things people can see when they start their channels in YouTube side of things. Everything is zero. Everything is very difficult and such and such and such. So let's go our little... Uh, things on here customize your channel and see what I can do to actually make it much more better looking so one of the things you can actually do with this this is a this is a very much a screen everybody's going to see in the beginning zero subscribers seven views oh boy that is terrible how we can survive from this well thing is uh, to make things visually good looking, uh, I recommend very much taking time on that because when people actually look and find uh, your channel on the YouTube site, they're going to Move be very much YouTube. looking on the visuals. And if you have like uh, no backgrounds and everything is very thin. Are your videos monetized? Oh yes, they are, Moju, uh, for the fact that I think the uh, guards of algorithm very much like that, so that's why that is the case, of course. Uh, but the thing is, uh, before you can get your videos monetized, you are going to see this screen often. And uh, very much to customize some things here, you can change the uh, icon on here, which I recommend to check out how to re do really do a good one. I personally use this logo of mine, which is this sort of inverted uh, bass keynote which is i think works for me also you can have a channel art which i also recommend to taking a look because when you look at the channel i personally have myself it can i haven't actually changed the uh channel of the art let me actually go to my own place on here no that's that's not it let me put a look in here we go and this is the channel i have here it has the visual arts on there actually are catchy and I've actually got some uh, people say good things about that. Let's actually look at some other channels other than me to see an examples of that as well. 
like uh, this is one of um, French channels of mine. Matti Palanen composer is very active in the composing field as a Finnish musician. He does actively doing this composing stuff, and he has his like composer Celtic fantasy soundtrack epic ambient everything on the screen on there. I think it would be uh, perhaps made a little more colorful. Still, it could be, but it looks very good. As you can see, he has this logo of this sort of panther on here. Everything is going well. He has very colorful screens, and what he does is this sort of. Uh, uh, sort of same kind of a remake content, but of course making his own epic music in the same moments as that. So very good stuff he does. Very effective. So if you want to start your own, let's say, game uh, music, you know, channel, you can of course they make any uh, all that, all that as well. Uh, make a very sta good standing sort of like picture on here and such. Uh, also, you can feature some channels. I don't really recommend it in the beginning. I suppose if you don't know any friends on here, but you know you can find you know make that go as you want and you can do some featured content you can put the videos that you are like doing on this sort of like uh, people see them you know first time when they come into the channel and so forth all of these things you can do but the main thing you are going to need when starting this whole thing is videos 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 and videos my friends because the thing is <sighs> many things that you know my look, look it's dover king indeed it's dover king person i tell you uh, on the, uh, I actually recommend checking his channel out. You can find him in a uh, look and you know other side of the channel. The thing is, uh, I tell you, my friends, you have to start with the content. You have to start with the videos. When you are not having any videos, your channel has very small kind of way to actually grow any uh, any ways. Because the thing is, when you videos is going to take a hard time to do. Many composers might not be the video editors. If you have uh, in uh, money, you're gonna perhaps pay someone to do those. When you are in the beginning, though, you might don't have that sort of a uh, possibility of actually paying people to do your stuff for you for this YouTube thing so you need to actually perhaps uh, self learn some video styles what I personally do is I let me actually open uh, this program that I recommend for you to check out for easy ways to actually make some videos quickly and without too much of editing skills let me actually put this on the screen so you can see it I use this very interesting trick which I don't know do many people use in themselves but as you see I'm currently using this program called OBS that is an open broadcasting software and I'm trying to open the OBS on the screen on here the OBS is basically this sort of like uh, streaming program that you can use for YouTube has been able to start monetize them channel they need to have at least 1000 subscribers indeed so for you also that is not the hardest part of it I'm actually going to be showing some stats on behind my channel uh, but I tell you there's even some nastier stuff in there you need to have 4000 watch hours 4000 hours of watch time in past six months which is very terrifying and i tell no, you, you ju -ju. i just recently got an upper uh, got an into monetization PBSA, and it's not the biggest money you do even after that point. Videos are demonetized. appreciated bdsa but many educated videos are demonetized that also a possibility a uh, problem emoji on that is the fact that when you have uh, unmonetized content youtube has less incentive to actually share it around and i've noticed it with my you know my viewership has actually gone very much up because of the fact that i put monetization things in there i am not very happy on that but unfortunately that is the case uh, but the thing is, you know, that's the, what you have to keep in mind. 400, 4,000 hours. So don't think in the beginning of really getting monetized. Uh, you know, it's not the biggest thing. You need to get the people to actually watch your stuff. And that is going to be the most important stuff. So let's think about possible ways to actually get uh, quickly stuff done. So this is an open broadcasting software. I use it currently for streaming. My streaming setup, you know, kind of looks like this. You know, have these sort of things on here. Start streaming, start recording. And as you notice, there is this one thing in, this, uh, in the corner, actually. Uh, make the corner a little bit bigger you have this button called start recording so indeed you can actually record some videos with this and if you are a lazy person with videos like me you can actually record some videos with this and you know have them look you know like a decent kind of videos especially for music videos that is very much possibility you can have video backgrounds all of these things and this program is a free for of charge it's you can actually also make streams with it you can you know have all these setups on here I think very easy to use kind of you know kind of kind of easy to use to get stuff done and it's for all of these little programs so i recommend to checking it out and taking it when making uh, kind of thinking of how to make youtube stuff because actually i need to put here one more thing that i forgot to put here which is you need to do regular content regular content 
and this is a big mi I suppose a minus and plus at the same time because the thing is it's good to have regular content to get stuff done by the way BPSA good to welcome to here on the stream lovely to have you on here forgot to say hello of course that's not that nice for me but good to see how are you doing the thing is we are currently I would I would recommend if you want to get some quick video content done with regular patterns get obvious because the thing is YouTube loves regularity if you take YouTube stuff and Mo put some regular YouTube. things going on funny uh, it things helps my so first much video funny things in my videos on YouTube views. I got 100 views most, most got, got like 10 like to 20 and 20 then when boom one, one get 531 views, views and I was like and what? Like, what? did love the video does Tittle matter a lot that is my opinion let me actually check out who you your channel if I can uh, you know look at them myself on my own opinions of course I'm not the biggest YouTube guru out there I recommend actually checking out some YouTube gurus to learn about some stuff there are some bad and good ones but let me actually check out can I find your channel in this land and see how it is going itself indeed let us open it just like that mojo Ju, can I find yourself in there if I can let me know yeah, your channel, you know, searching with your name, I cannot really st uh, find your channel out there. That's kind of a bad, uh, that's kind of a nasty thing. That's kind of a nasty thing, let me see. Yeah, I cannot find your channel too much, Mojo. Oh, here we go, found it. So the thing is, uh, when you are starting your own, when you do your own channel, Mojo Ju said, you know, some videos get random sort of stuff, some get, oh, you don't have content on Not here. This one. It was one before. Ah, I see, I see. No worries. Then let's go back. Then let's go back. So the thing is, uh, in in the channel, you know, some content gets random, uh, randomly some stuff done. Some contents like uh, like uh, some accidentally when they have like their videos. I'm actually gonna look at one of the examples in my own channel so I can like show you why is that. So like the thing is, there's always always a reason why you get this sort of search of uh, like uh, viewership for your content that you do. Yes, indeed. Let me actually go to my own channel and show it to you. A kind of example I have on my own. So I, I press my channel on here. You can actually check it yourself if you want to. I go to this video, Loki Vaughn's Bride, which actually gets a, a lot of views for a very surprising amount. I've not not actually shared this. Uh, uh, Loki vs. Bright video to much people and I constantly get people watching it. The thing is, this is based on a very known poem called Loki Vaughn's Bride. And this is a very much known uh, kind of poem for many different countries in the world, uh, kind of in, in India and other these sort of places. They teach it in school. So I think the algorithm with this sort of way started promoting it because there's not much Loki Vaughn Bright videos out there. and. Uh, people actually enjoyed it and that's the thing if you are able to find something people are searching you are actually able to get a lot of people watching your stuff that's the thing and uh, that's the kind of the golden goose people try to find on this YouTube side of things if you musically can find something that people want to watch and there's actually people searching for that you are able to get a lot of views easily like that without not much sharing at all and that's possibly what more Ju 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 happened with you as well you know that's the thing that's the thing with youtube side of things so let's go to this example channel on here that is uh, this remake heaven i made and when you start the whole thing where to really start from well the thing is start putting some videos out like i have no really hope for this channel because i've only one put a one video which is kind of a copy of the video i've already put out there which is not very good you don't want to really do that the uh, thing is the uh, a program I use to record Linux is Kazam. It's a very simple but good record software, also for free. Very good. Check out Kazam for Linux if that is uh, the system you use. I personally use a Windows on this. But the thing is, start to get your music out there on the videos. You do regularly. I recommend once per week. And. Uh, and when you go to once per week sort of fashion with your videos, they start to like look like a nice little library. When people find your channel, then they're going to be having like, oh, that's a place, oh, I should check it out. And then you can actually share it much more easier because people can like uh, watch video after video after video after video sort of fashion. Let me actually try, can I find you know, someone on here to actually kind of show that to you as well? PBS. I'm going to take uh, one example, which is of and course Kitten Live, to edit, live to edit videos. That's actually a very good one as well. PBSA, very good suggestion. This is another the sort of composer persons I do know. Uh, hey, ball smasher! Let's not really talk like that. I tell you, let's not like that. You know, I know D Live is sort of wild animal of the places, but still, but still. 
So the hair music, like he basically puts music out there, as you can see, like very regularly. Not all the videos actually get uh, views all, all and every week. But like, look at that. He actually 200 views, 100 views, 100 views, 100 views. They regularly, every, I think, week or two puts videos out there. Are you embarrassed to see old videos? Uh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just embarrassed of the channel I just put there, which has like really no use, the Remake Haven. I'm not really ashamed of anything, to be honest. You are kind of, you know, I have very hard time to find me anything that I'm ashamed of. The thing is, uh, let me go on here and look at him. Like he actually puts every week, you can see months of content. Uh, some of them get like 100 views, some of them get like more, more views, you know, because the algorithm supports them. And that's the thing you're going to actually play with the YouTube side of things. Of it's yours, a long-term I mean. game. I mean, use I mean. Oh, ah. Uh, some of them. I actually... Some of the old remakes I did, which are like... I think I could do better with them. There's this one which I did for RuneScape, which was this barbarian village. Nobody liked that, so I kind of actually deleted it away and such. So, you know, that's the one actually I'm ashamed of. But thing is... Uh, when you do this YouTube stuff, it's a long-term game. Let me still put this on these uh, notes I have on here. When you actually, it's a me minus thing, but actually a plus thing at the same time because you know you are on this and a long-term thing. You know, long term, long term. You are, n you know, if you get success one, you know, with this sort of video that gets 60,000 uh, 60, views or such a thing, like I did for that video. Well, that's a lucky thing, but it's not something that happens every day, I tell you. It's not something that happens all the time, and you cannot rely on it. You cannot simply just wait and say, hey, that's something that is going to happen, TV. and uh, see how it goes. How are the people, are the people will, buy uh, will they buy music? Except Hollywood. Hollywood. How can I get in touch how can with, I get uh, in them? Touch with theme? Uh, what do you mean? THB, let me actually uh, read it again. Who are the people they will buy music, except Hollywood? How can I get in touch? Oh, we're going to be actually talking about also all the methods outside of YouTube as well to get your stuff out there. If you're talking about how to get your stuff to publishers, uh, there's, uh, there are many ways. We talked about that actually in the last episode of this series of, you know, uh, what are the plus sides and minus sides of getting a publisher. I recommend to check that out. Uh, THB, what do you mean in general? Do you mean like somebody to purchase your music, like people, let's say, purchasing your music on your own? Uh, it's all one thing I'm actually going to talk about in later episodes, but also you talk about how can you get on Hollywood or something. I don't know. It, it depends on. I, I recommend to checking out and me, me going to this sort of uh, connecting events, meeting people and such. We're going to be actually talking about that also on here. So YouTube is only one way to really get your stuff out there. I talk about the positives and negatives. I recommend having long term plan. I personally have a long term plan on this, and it has currently been working. <laughs> so that's the kind of the plan I recommend you also taking as well. Just find something that people want to watch. That's the thing. You can. Uh, it's hard to really. Uh, do something that people already don't like sort of fashion like I just noticed I tested one day just playing Fortnite on a stream and you know I found many new people joining so that's the kind of the name of the game of YouTube side of things so be careful of that and be uh, be ready for that if you are ready for it now let's go to a place called SoundCloud which is also one of these platforms I actually talked about yes uh, last time but but I want to talk about these platforms TV. overall, you know, what are they good and bad that. sides. Because Thanks. this is one of the major things. I will check that. Thanks. THB, welcome to the stream. What is your music interest when it comes to how to become a composer? I tell you, there are, you know, if you want to get your music out of the films, if you want to get your music on these places, I recommend having a kind of a CV of your work first. Perhaps having a SoundCloud or YouTube, you can do this for free. Put your music to be kind of interesting looking, you know, uh, kind of good thumbnails, good, co good cover arts and such. And then it's uh, actually good to go to the next steps. That's why I'm sharing these first. So you have like some kind of a basis on a way to put your music at first. So SoundCloud is this place that people actually still use quite a lot. I personally don't. I, I do not them that much use it i should possibly but there's a lot of uh, you know negative things on it let me actually put here positives it is uh, i suppose the positive on soundcloud is that maybe some people some new listeners might found you listeners listeners can find you that's the thing there are some new listeners on there also usually it's expected when you are a musician that you have a soundcloud thing that's what i've actually noticed so people like you know when i meet some people hey what's PBSA. your soundcloud sort of fashion 
Me becoming, me becoming a composer, composer, very unlikely. Very me becoming unlikely. a narrator. Me becoming oh, a narrator. Right. Perhaps you can likely. use these, you know, you know, all other stuff as well in advantage because you know, imagine being a, basically a voice acting channel. What I personally would do if I would be a voice acting channel, I tell you, I would have this sort of library as this person has on here, on a different voice actings or for different set of known characters, let's say from known video games. I would very much do that because I know people would watch that, and also you would have very nice CV because of that, and then you would be able to get to many projects just having that on there and sharing it around for people you want to meet that's the thing it's good to have some kind of a basis on that you have something on there but some new listeners you can find with this service also <sighs> i think there's a lot of negative things on soundcloud let me let me try to find some of them uh, i suppose the community is very much nice there's a very positive community in soundcloud people actually are much more inclined to say positive PBSA. things than negative things in uh, soundcloud i already did, I already some, did voice some voice acting, acting videos, videos. being on a portuguese, on portuguese. Oh, very good if i need portuguese voice acting i just have to say pbsa the thing is the community side of things i actually started my own music work on this very platform because of the fact that uh, it is a very happy, lovely community side of things like imagine you have a community and people like other other composers you meet other composers make connections with them and such and they at least you know a few years ago that I used it it is very positive there are some very positive people on there they give you feedback which is on the positive side some people are too positive in the sense that they are not genuine on their feedback but still it's a positive community you know if you don't want to see too many harsh comments it's a place to start it good for a beginners i would say also the mean amount of science of it is that it's a i think it's a declining platform we talked about that last time but it's a declining on my mind at least and you have to pay a lot of money to give it ongoing at least you know when you're first time perhaps you when you already do business you know that's all right but when you have to pay let's say what was the subscription now? Like, let's say $10 a month or something, or $7 a month. It's kind of like, you know, why another subscription? So you have to pay subscription uh, to really use it fully, to use fully. You know, that's the kind of the situation we have on here. You can get some ads on this. You can actually get money. Even with YouTube, you can get money. It's going to take some time. With SoundCloud, I think, you know, if you uh, actually, uh, actually, uh, that's a minus thing. I just forgot. That's a minus thing. Yeah, subscription service you're using. That's very nasty. Let me put it minus on there. One of the plus signs of it, and actually, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to uh, release music that often. In there. That's the kind of the good thing about this place. Imagine being releasing every day, like uh, looking at us here. Like I tell you, it's gonna be a very nasty time if you do that. But now with this, you can actually don't need to release that often. Like one week, one month time. It's very good. You can actually. Get that growing even with that sort of amount, uh, with the algorithm and such promoting it on there. So you don't need to worry too much on it, I tell you. Too much you don't need to worry. But the thing is, be careful of the fact that it's going to be... Uh, th there's a lot of scammers out there. There are these people that offer you a lot of, lot of scammers. You know, they offer you... Like, uh, you know, let me sell you views and this sort of stuff. Uh, don't do it. Don't uh, fall for it. It actually gets your channel deleted in some cases. And it's not real views. I actually met this one band uh, in in there that, you know, that actually did purchase these views themselves. And, you know, subscribers and followers and this sort of stuff. And uh, it actually hurts their channel because those are not real people. They are not actually getting real people to listen to themselves. So, yeah, be careful of that. That's actually going to delete... That's going to affect your career very nastily in the very beginning if you fall for that trap. Anyways, that is the good... Uh, that's the SoundCloud overall. I'm actually open a SoundCloud for yourself so you can see how that looks on your screen. So people you want, might have not used it. But I tell you, SoundCloud is this sort of the easy way to really start doing this sort of... Uh, sort of stuff on putting music out there getting some listeners and actually show it on the screen here let me open it here we go and what's on that there's something weird going on that doesn't look normal what is on that Most that is YouTube. weird what is happening on this side i was thinking about rejoining YouTube. what a weird i was thinking of on youtube would be do gaming videos me hey mojo that would be cool i actually personally believe we should have a communities and people working with each other, uh, we should have like people working with each other. It would be very cool. You could, you could do that. You know, I, 
I personally, I'm not the biggest gaming channels of such, but you know, working together very much, I'm interested in that. That's the thing, that's the thing. So for some reason, I look at the SoundCloud and it has these sort of scribbles on it. I don't understand it. No, please. Please, don't A tell the me. It. I don't get I don't get it. I know the Weaver TV. I don't get it it's as well. Look at that. Speak up, speak up. Why are we blacked out? Oh, no. Don't say they are like doing this sort of like a virtue signaling because of the... Oh, please. Oh, I need to do a video. God damn, God damn. So it seems uh, perhaps I should actually not recommend SoundCloud because it seems it doesn't let you to go to your place. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be doing what they ask to me. Press on this button. No, 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 no at all. So, yeah, that's SoundCloud for you. It seems they are vir doing this sort of thing that actually damages their own platform to do some sort of virtual signaling. Uh, yeah, but uh, don't play Fortnite but over don't my play dead Fortnite. body. Fortnite <laughs> only over my dead body. Oh yeah, but perhaps not. Perhaps not. Um, I don't get to uh, well, welcome another view TV on this uh, channel on here. We're doing actually a stream, and we just noticed that uh, let's actually add a big minus, actually a minus, uh, like a double minus, 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 uh, virtual signaling, signaling. Yes, very good. So you can actually get damage because of this sort of thing. It seems. You know, of course, many places do this sort of thing. Usually, a list has things all in one category. Mm, what do you talk about another TV? Let me know. But well, yeah, it seems they have that, that sort of thing because you know, if you have that and uh, make your own like music works uh, go down, that's not very good. So yeah, that's very bad. But hey, let's take this off. There was actually a suggestion from Mojuju uh, about uh, you know perhaps playing your music on the street. Playing music on the street. At this on the street. I don't know. You know my, my English is bad. Uh, on I don't mean on the street. I think. Uh, playing music on the street, sort of fashion. We're actually going to be talking about that and what that is. Well, basically, you can do some music playing on. Uh, you know, for yourself to actually. Uh, uh, share it around in that sort of fashion. You can actually uh, go in the street, play for street for kind of like a street musician for people. That is a way to do it, and I actually recommend to check that sort of fashion out because I actually got surprised when I did it. I got actually quite a lot of money for doing that. I had a flute. I played some flute on the street, and I got like one hour. I got seventy do uh, euros or something like that. That is actually. A very good paycheck, I tell you, if I would do that every day. I can now no, understand why some people do it. Your English Your is good, is don't good. worry about don't it. Don't worry you, about it. Yes, but I'm not a native English speaker, so yeah, I, I have my limitations. Now, um, I actually tell you, depending on the place, you know, of course, real life is dangerous. I no, always put you. this sort of thing. Dangerous. I doubt egg native speakers speak Finnish well. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose. Uh, very, very true. Possibly not. Who knows? Uh, real life is dangerous. You know that's kind of an kind of a, like why are you putting that on there? But I tell you, depending on the place you go, uh, you might get robbed and that sort of fashion. I, in in Finland, that is a very rarely in case I think. But I've heard you know some other cases in other countries that actually I think. So be careful of that. But now uh, we're going to be starting. Actually, uh, you are for you are you get listeners. I tell you, you get. You get real listeners, and actually you're face to face, face to face. Uh, things that you know these other social medias actually don't do really much. You know, you get real listeners on this. You can actually meet them. You can talk to them. You can say, "Hey, do this. Go to listen my album in there," and that sort of fashion. Usually, I've seen this sort of uh, collaboration action with what they're doing. They're actually having their street corner playing. And then no they have future. like, hey, I'm promoting my current Better album. Better short go and, and listen, dangerous go than there. long and boring. Better short and dangerous than long and boring. I suppose what they say, there's this old saying in the English. Better to be a one day of lion than hundred days of being a sheep. You know, of course, it's a complicated issue, but still, but still, you know, be, be, be clever when doing this. You know, don't fear, but be clever. That's my what I would say. Uh, one thing I also say that, of course, you need uh, uh, you need to purchase perhaps uh, the instrument, uh, technique, uh, technology, technology. Of course, I mean, we we talked about you know that in the per, you know more than perhaps more than perhaps in other things. But you know, you know, it might be a reality situation here. You need to actually purchase some instruments and plan a lot. That's actually what you need. Oh, that's a minus thing. I just forget. So yeah, that's kind of the one of the minuses you have to plan for. But it's actually. It, it, it's not that costly if you do that, but I tell you, it's going to be. You actually, you can get paid right away. 
and actually pretty nice amounts as I said I just did one afternoon of street playing as a flute flute person when there was a summertime in my city and I got 70 euros for like one hour which is very very big amount I tell you I could go there and just go to McDonald's and buy some stuff there. <laughs> well not perhaps McDonald's perhaps a better place even Yes, but you know, you can actually get right right away and you can get also those people to go listen your other stuff online. You can get those people to go online and see you. Yes, indeed. So that's the thing. You can actually make that happen, which is uh, you can actually have more control over it rather than in the online space of things. But also one minus thing is that you have to be... Uh, you have to be uh, what's the entertaining I mean like you have to uh, you have to, uh, you cannot be shy you cannot be shy I tell you it felt nasty in the beginning for me to be in you know front of people on their sort of street corner sort of fashion I had this sort of kids coming to me and laughing in front of my face but you know I just said uh, I only said in my mind, I got 70 dollars, 70 euros, don't care about that. But I tell you, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get some children coming to you and harass you and that sort of fashion. I even saw, sometimes I saw a street musician, uh, someone actually went and kicked the bucket that he was gathering all the dollars in, sort of fashion. So you are able to get some, uh, you know, nasty apples sometimes. But uh, you cannot really be shy on doing that. It's actually, uh, it's uh, even harder than doing this sort of streaming action, I tell you. Streaming is easy, to, I tell you, compared to going and playing on the street. It takes courage, so I very much, uh, if you see any street musician, go and give them some dollars, I tell you. They are worth it. They, 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 they deserve it if they play actually good music, because I've seen some bad musicians out there. So that's about the street playing music. So I tell you, uh, in some countries there are some laws that you cannot do all this sort of stuff uh, all, all the time. You know, you have to actually be be, be, be mindful of laws and be mindful of laws of your country because some kind of countries actually are uh, are against of this, you know, just going there kind of uh, on the fly. You have to actually ask permission of the police and such. Uh, not all countries, uh, but you have to be very mindful of that. So, you know, just go there, look at the information on your country. Can you do street musician action? Check it out and see how that is. But I tell you, this is one of the best ways actually to get heard in many aspects in the world, I tell you. A very good aspect indeed, because the thing is, Mo you Juju. actually get some new people that you can you see know face the best to face. Way to you know, that's start a huge story thing. Slash video. That's a huge thing. Not everyone once can upon do a time, that. I was you me. know, the best way to start video, a uh, story video. Once upon a time, I was me. Well, what's that about? I do you mean some kind of a logs thing? Yeah, I suppose not. You know, there's so many people vlogging nowadays. That, you know, I don't know. Can you actually? Uh, rise above that but of course I do it myself so uh, why, why should I say that but the thing is now those are the one of the three ways we talked about just moment ago I'm actually talking about the, another uh, platform which I do think you should be uh, putting a building up as uh, I think one of the biggest places that you should go and it actually pays very well so Spotify again I will recommend you to no, check you, out the, it's a joke it's a joke Ah, yes, my, 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 you know, my joke abilities are perhaps uh, zero out of ten. No, no, let's say, let's see, one of the things is that, you know, uh, I would recommend to check out is this service, as I mentioned in the past, called uh, uh, RoadNode, when putting your stuff in this platform we're actually going to be talking about, which is Spotify, because the thing is, you cannot get your stuff on the Spotify like YouTube, you cannot just upload it, you have to actually have a distribution company in between of that, and this is uh, one of the only free ones that, you know, actually, is a very good one. I personally use it, so I recommend to check out the link I just put there. A road note. It's very much, of course, helps the channel if you do that. But you know, up to you, up to you. So let's get back on this side of things. Spotify. What is good about that? You know, but some people actually don't know what Spotify really. You know what it is. But I tell you, Spotify is this music listening platform like any other in YouTube. But I think it's a, it's a good one because basically, you get paid more I think even for you few Hi listeners Elias. you actually get made poor so made paid more than in any other place Hi like Elias. so that's why the way become a composer like you indeed of course uh, you know 
and not everybody I think you know having the, many people have their different sort of styles some people do jazz music some people do other music styles so yes uh, of course you know these are the experiences I personally have and I'm sharing them on here but I tell you these are the ways hello there icon welcome to the stream uh, so uh, Spotify you get paid more I tell you this place actually pays a, quite a lot uh, I've actually had just like a uh, 1200 listeners on 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 this mo last month and i actually got paid like let's say uh, was it to uh, five uh, euros or something it's a very small amount of money i tell you but imagine in youtube if you want to do the same you would need to have uh, how many more views you have, have to have like let's say 100 times more views to get the same amount of money i tell you 100 times more views to get that same amount of money and why is that well spotify is a subscription service and ad based service as well but i tell you many people have subscriptions in there and once people play uh, any kind of song uh, the artist gets paid and i think the percentage is much bigger than uh, in youtube and in other places much more so i'm actually going to be building this heavily because I tell you Spotify if I get a same amount of views that I'm getting with YouTube with Spotify I would actually get much more paid more you know I would actually make this as a kind of paid thing much more than in here I tell you money is something that you have to consider because of course when you do bigger things you want to ha get uh, paid for your work if you actually put investment on it that sort of fashion yes indeed but I go how's your day going have you been doing some paintings the uh, thing is uh, Spotify, you get paid more. Uh, you need a distribution company, it's kind of a minus thing, but I very much recommend your road note upon that. Uh, need a distribution company, here we go. But, of course, as I put here on the kind of uh, here, uh, road note. Uh, we have a link in the description, even you have to check that out because I tell you, I use it myself. I could not even for, uh, recommend any other service more than this. It's It's the best. Uh, also, the minus thing on, on on the place is the fact that, uh, well, I think you know the, there, there are not many minus signs on it. It's of course one of those places you have to share around to actually get people to listen to yourself. Uh, no interaction, I think that's the my big no interaction. You cannot get people to comment you. You can have people to follow you, but no comments, no this sort of stuff. So no interaction. That is a kind of a big thing. If you don't want, if you want to meet people like Aiko, Moju, and others on the stream, like we are having here, it's good to have some kind of interaction in these places like YouTube and such. But in this place, you don't have that at all. You don't just have that. That is very nasty. Indeed, you don't just have that. So very much, uh, I recommend to taking a kind of a look on. Uh, on those other platforms on that sort of fashion but I tell you with other sites I think Spotify does things very very good I tell you and why is that well let me tell you let me tell you uh, thing is like uh, you, it's just very very nice and you can actually have covers you know it looks professional looks professional it shows the numbers all, all the things for you when you're using it so it doesn't have them behind the paywall like some other services have. I'm looking at you, SoundCloud, which I'm actually very disappointed at, I tell you. SoundCloud is very something I'm very disappointed at right now. So the thing is, that is one of the things you should think about of putting your music at. It's a bit harder than other places. Uh, but I tell you, there's even algorithm supporting on that place, sharing your... I actually made this one composition about a certain you know, franchise and I got a lot of views because of just that. Uh, I mean, like, uh, people actually were interested on that. So I recommend checking that out and putting it out there, getting some views. You have to make original content on this, that's the thing. You cannot really do covers on this side. You have to pay extra for the license holders if you make covers, so no covers only original stuff that's the kind of nasty thing you have to keep in mind that's the nasty thing to keep in mind because the thing is you know in youtube the plan ch ch the whole thing is that you do covers do this sort of remakes but in that place don't do them at all you cannot do them that's uh, not something you can do you have to pay for each license if you want to do that and it's actually uh, it might cost like uh, was it like hundred dollars per one or something? It's actually pretty big sum depending on how how big the uh, composition comes. 
So yes, go with the original style on the Spotify sense, but I tell you it's actually worth it. I'm currently building it. If you want to check out my own Spotify to see how it looks, go to Spotify uh, slash Elias. Uh, actually, Elias Luke and Spotify. Just uh, search that online and you can find it. How I'm doing it. Actually, actively releasing stuff on that. Indeed. So we have been streaming for one hour on this sort of episode of this How to Become a Composer. And uh, so far we have been finding uh, how to share your music. We have been finding the answers for this. Uh, now we're going to be uh, doing another sort of way that, you know, uh, which is actually not more much talked about. We're going to be taking all of these social medias, all of these nasty things away in here. Because they just take some time. Let me actually put here something else, which is of course a radio. And I tell you, a radio and music YouTubers. And why I'm putting these on the same sort of fashion thing is, these are other people that have these sort of platforms of their own that uh, want to get share that what want to share music indeed and radio and music youtubers is the way to do it and their interest is to release as much as music as possible it's not just your music but music from others radio and music youtubers is the way to really go forward with that and the minus side for this side of thing is that of course uh, you are um, they approve they approve do they uh, uh, they decide decide should they release your music? Yeah, that's the way. They decide. They are in control. You are not in control. That's the sad thing about it. But, you know, you have to sacrifice some things in order to get some. And I suppose that sacrifice to get some viewership in order to you know, not get your all songs shared on these places. Uh, that is some um, sacrifice you have to do sometimes. Uh, especially, you know, because the thing is, you want to get uh, people to see your works. You want to get them to listen and you want to get them to um, to understand and, hey, there's this compost around. Because that's the hardest thing when you do this sort of streaming side of thing. You might not get all the people to see your works. So having a radio and music YouTubers to check out your works uh, is a good way. Uh, let me actually uh, do that sort of search online. I'm actually opening uh, YouTube on this side of things. Yes, YouTube. Let me open that on this corner on the whole thing. And actually, let's see some of the channels that I'm currently talking about. Also, some radios. I personally need to do this much more, but I think there's a big effect when it comes to this. So let me go epic music. You know, just uh, just having epic music on there. And all of these channels that I noticed uh, from just uh, searching epic music is Pandora music. And this is just one of these channels that actually does this. Look at the following. It's actually a bit big following. It has a lot of people viewing it. A lot of thousands of people. And what's the whole place about? Hey, they share trailer sort of music. Mohiji. And the composers have a chance to actually submit their music the for them. Very good indeed. That is control. a way. Live a little. This reminds me of the quote from the movie, stop worrying about what you can do, uh, uh, live, uh, live a, li a little. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. You know, you can't control everything, that's the thing. And there's a huge kind of look on there, like you can, you can actually go to this Pandora channel yourself, send some music in there, and if they like your stuff, they actually put there on their videos, and actually put your like uh, channel name on there, and you can actually get your channel grown because of this sort of fashion. So that is what I do recommend, this Pandora journey and all that, I'm actually, see all the... Of course, you have to have epic music in order to get this sort of stuff, let's say. Uh, epic music, Empire, Freya music, I think, uh, let me see. Epic music world, I actually remember, I actually talked with this person before, Epic music world. He does this sort of uh, stuff as well. So if you have this sort of epic music style, like look at that, look at that, how many views it gets, so much. And you actually, let me let me open one of these videos, not to listen to the audio, but let me just open the video just quickly to see how they do it. So yes, as you can see, they have music for this, 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 different artists. They all want to get their heard and tell you if you have 33,000 people listening to you, if you just get like 100 people interested about you from this video, it's a huge thing. And I'm actually personally thinking of this more, but the thing is, you have to make some music that these people like, otherwise you are not going to uh, be heard on these places. Other options is actually, there are radio channels that you can actually, you know, 
uh, send your music also. One of the examples is Radio Rivendell, I think. That's one of the radio stations I personally have seen, especially when it comes to fantasy music. But of course, this is just one of the example radios. So they are internet radios, they have their music, they have their listener base. This is one of the example radios I recommend to actually check out, as you can see. 18,000 members. Epic Music World is a very nice channel too. Ico, indeed, indeed. They're, those are the places that uh, that share this stuff, you know, Ico knows them, I suppose. Yeah, that's the thing, it has a lot of listeners. So this Radio Rivendell site is very much, you can get your own music out there, they, you can play music from their listening things and uh, yes, they actually have a decent community, not the biggest ones, but there are a lot of these internet radios out there. As you can see, like there's very active work on there, let's see how big results they have on there, like they actually have, like look at that. In there, just a poll recently made, they have a few thousands of people uh, answering, 2,000 people indeed. So that's actually a pretty nice amount of listeners, and you might get your music listened not just one time, but many times, you know, around the, around the years, and that will of course lead them to check out yourself. So there's a huge potential with this sort of fashion to actually, actually get listeners on your side, let me actually say. So, uh, a lot of viewership. Uh, is that right? Viewership, yes. A lot of viewership you are able to get. That actually is very good. And if you have a good YouTube channel and other websites, you can actually get a lot of people to watch your stuff, indeed. In, like Epic Music Channel World, like Aiko mentioned, and others, they, these people can help that out. Also, um, I tell you, like I think that's, that's the kind of the only biggest things they can do you know of course not all are going to check your channel but let's imagine from that 30,000 people that watch that epic music channel uh, video only like uh, let's say 1% of people watch your stuff so let's say like even less like 100 people watch your stuff that's still a huge stuff that's about still a huge how thing. many composers how do many you know? composers do you know actually know quite many in fact i'm currently trying to get our interview with few composers on here to try to uh try to kind of so get the experience on them i'm currently trying to uh, have mikko tarmia this sort of composer from finland that is for many games have done some music i'm trying to having him on for the show so we can actually interview him yes indeed we are having that sort of fashion and that sort of plan going forward with this but imagine yes if you have uh, I think, you know, in two weeks we're going to be interviewing him. I think in two weeks. So look at that. 30,000 and then you get 100 views even. You know, that's a kind of a minimal amount. But still, if you get 100 or 50 people even, that's a huge thing. I would recommend that. You know, hundreds of real people interested for your stuff, they actually may count to many other people who are going to watch your works. So very much I recommend checking that sort of fashion out. And, uh, yeah. Uh, our episode is very much... I think we have already... already We've already talked about many sort of ways how to share your music around, as you meant, as you see, as this episode was about. I think those are very good ways to really think about this. Yesterday we talked, last episode we talked about the fact of how to get your music shared in, let's say, these big other things. I recommend checking that out if you want to know more of this. But I think we talk about the major places to do that. So how to start? How to really get this done? Uh, this now thing done. What Bert Composer did, he basically has this sort of uh, limited time option. He can only he can only have a very limited time of working things. So Bert the Gardener, our main hero, Bert the Gardener. Release music, releases music, releases music on YouTube, Spotify and uh, SoundCloud even. You know, I don't know. SoundCloud will still you know SoundCloud every week every week that's the thing every week and his style is this sort of video game beautiful music and sometimes when he releases a music he sends his music every time it releases to epic music world and uh, Radio Rivendell, let's say. Just like, of course, the other radios. Radio Rivendell. And that's the thing. That's what he does. And he was able to get, let's say, if we do this, let's say, uh, he does this sort of thing, uh, let's say, six months. Six months. He's able to get, uh, just my, my kind of idea, you know, depending if he, all of his songs are agreed on those places, he gets around... 
I think, you know, in, in good estimates, he can get around, like, let's say, uh, 10,000 people to listen to his stuff. If he works actively on every week, uh, putting his stuff on there. And I'm just combining all of the numbers. And, you know, why I'm putting 10,000? Well, of course, the Epic Music World, the viewership in that, of course, is going to increase it. Uh, but the thing is, 10,000 is not a very big amount if we think about it. See ya! You gotta food. get food! food no worries, we have episode is very much on the end Most of the side. So 10,000 people watching, and he has, let's say, 200 uh, subs on his channel afterwards. So that's the plan he has, and I think that's a very realistic plan when he just follows this through, I think. Of course, it might be less, it might be more, it depends. Oh, let me actually make that much smaller, you know, that's a... That's a big arrow right there. But yeah, look at that. He again, I, I think that's a goal that is actually a possibility very much. Look at that. Just look, look at that. So if he follows on this sort of thing, also does other things as we talked in the previous episode, I think this is not that hard thing to do. 10,000 views is, you know, when you think about 56 weeks, if you get, uh, let's say, let's you, oh, just open a calculator on here on online side of things calculator you know of course you have to have calculator to think about the possibilities you know these are not yet in but we shall see how we you know how we actually be following this so let's put it on here look like in here we have 50 like 52 weeks uh, actually six months is how many weeks is there i think it's like a 26 i suppose so i might be wrong on this so still 26 weeks and each we uh, each week he gets around 200 views Times, oh, let me like, times 200. How much views is that? 50. Okay, that's a bit less, of course. If you do it in one year, still. Thing is, 50, 50 5,200 is not that bad at all. You know, if we were, gonna, of course, have a smaller than this amount of here, when we actually go back to the small screen, it's a bit smaller, but still a realistic amount you can actually get. Uh, getting 500 views per week uh, is 200 views per week is, is not that hard. You are also going to need uh, this sort of you know tactic on how to build it. You're going to have a groups to share it around. You have to have some uh, social media planning and such for that sort of fashion. But we're going to be looking at that in next episode of how to share yourself around on this how to become a composer but now as we have done this episode on the final thank you very much for being here we have now three percentage but the composer knows three percentage of how to become a composer in online worlds we're going to be actually looking more in the future episodes of how to make this possible to see where this composing journey takes us but i think this is the end for today's episode thanks for being here we're going to be talking about next time all the things of how to get your music shared, how to become a composer. Stay tuned wherever you are, whoever you are. I wish you good day and keep composing. If you have any questions afterwards, please uh, comment on them below us and we're going to be actually talking about them later on, on here. Uh, to sharing on your Discord server. Uh, thank you very much, Jelly Duck. Very much appreciate it. You know Let's talk about later. If you have any questions afterwards, I'm very much willing to answer them. So wherever you are, wherever you are, I wish you a good day. See you later.